Aberg. Oh, Rifling the iron. I think it was rifled, wasn't it? Catch the downslope. Long way back. Well in good shape. Not forcing the issue. Of course, management. I think we've seen that from in the last two days. And this golf course requires it. Yes, it's a positional golf course. He's got all the power in the world, but they often need it. Great tee shot from Aberg, 195. Ooh, a seven iron for him. Great chance for a three. God, looks like it's right at it, too. Oh. <laughs> Easy go. He's good to watch, isn't he? First on the scene. He's brilliant, and he's got a swing that is a pleasure to set your eyes on. He'll have that to leapfrog Thomas Dietrich as well, get to minus 12. Looks like he was born to do it. Seventh hole, gentle par fall down the hill, just an iron for Aberg, just trundle it down to the flat. Doesn't look wide from the tee, but it is. Problem with the iron is you do need to land this on the short grass. It's a whole lot more difficult from there, Ken. Oh, some thick stuff there. And a down slope and a tricky pin. Aberg here, second shot of seven from a jumpy lie. It's a wedge. Needs to get a jump. Pitching that bank. Boy, oh boy, what a shot. Oh, that's world class plus, isn't it? <laughs> I said it was tricky, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of good fortune just to pitch right at the top of the bank and kill it. I don't think you believe his luck. It is a great chance, but not an easy one to read. Oh, I think it might go left half, you know. The other parts have gone a bit right to left. Different angle, this one. To get to minus 13 on his own. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Quite oh. poetry in motion right now. That second shot is so difficult. Off the down slope, strawy gra grass lying with you. Here's our leader. Yeah, just a nine down near this eighth. Down to the fairway. I think he's laying up short of a ditch at about the 275 mark. No, he's not. Silly me. It's a different game. What a shot. Look at the pin at the eighth and just see how close it is to the edge of the green. Aberg from 122. What a tee shot. 292 with an iron. Perfect again. Absolutely perfect. It's showboating. Second shot he hit to the seventh round. Absolute doozy judge at the, at the eighth. Has a chance to move clear of Dietrich. One ahead. <laughs> Doesn't put a foot wrong, does he? It's, it's, it's almost spooky. Sweat out there, does he? Well, what a tee shot here on this par 5 12th from the big Aberg. 338 yards. How about that? 170 yards. Might even be a nine iron down the breeze. I think it's a little late. Uh, that's a nine, believe it or not. Oh, blimey. It's, it's the way the ball stops. It just comes one bounce stop. No shape, no spin. It's absolutely sensational. Yeah, great chance as well. That's actually a chippy eight in hit in here on this 12th, this par five. How about that? Just a chippy eight, right to left for the eagle. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, he is human after all. But he's keeping them all at bay, isn't he? That's a birdie. Aberg to 15 under, re-establishes his two-shot lead at the top. Driver favour. Oh, 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 that's way left. Get your eye on it, Jamie. Yep. I see it bouncing along. There is a ditch in there. Might be in it. He's lost it. 
Good knowledge, that Jamie. How did you know there's a ditch in there? <laughs> <laughs> Been in there, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, he's having to take a drop, and he still hasn't got a shot in where he drops. He's going to have to just chip it down the fairway. So trouble for our leader, really. Doesn't hasn't done one of those flicks, and the ball moves. He's playing his third. Yeah, got to get on the fairway, hasn't he? Over the other side. Steady, steady. Yeah, that's perfect there. Just a pitch and putt for a five, hopefully. There in three. That's oh. where he wanted his drive to be. So good, David. Even his chipping outside ways is good. Yeah, nice <laughs> bit of grab on the fairway there, wasn't there? Right in the face. Remember, he's already made two doubles this week. One at 17 on the first day when he drove it out of bounds, and one at nine yesterday. Well, he's let a lot of players back in this tournament with that tee shot. Ludwig Aberg going along so nicely. Two putts for six, really. I mean, he might give it a go, but uh, it's a good 35 feet this up the hill for Aberg. Off the right, slow. Yeah, real money, five-way tie for the lead at the moment. It's to stay one in front. Oh, he has. He's only gone and hold it. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, a driver, this is a bold play. A couple go left. And this one's left. straight down for the tee and pretty much straight down the middle of the 15th fairway for Ludwig Aberg. Yes, a pathetic drive of 300 yards into the breeze here. Could be a big seven this. This tight pin. I think he likes it. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, six feet right of the hole. This to go out in front again on his own. Aberg for birdie. Yes! Oh! Oh, well. Earlier in the weekend, Robin Molinari watched to drive and said, I can leave now. Well, he's out in front. You can see why. To be perfectly honest, I have never, ever seen a man hit the ball as straight as he ball does. Leaving. There's no fade, there's no draw. It's just like an error. Look at that, 66.6 .6 for the last 10 rounds is average. Remarkable. Great ball. Oh, 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 oh. fade on that one. Should be ideal as it is. You know, that must have been when really he cut the heck out of that about six inches, would you say? Indeed. <laughs> pretty good, isn't it? OK, Aberg. Second shot, 218, 223 to the front of the green, 247, all up, four iron for him. Oh, he's chasing after it. Is it leaking too much? Well, a little. It's not ideal, but it's not going to be an easy bunker shot, Tony. Oh, down that hill fast, isn't it? I mean, it was so close, wasn't it, though? How low it was a yard too far right. Otherwise, it's fantastic. I mean, it doesn't look like a spinny line, that's for sure. Maybe one club short. That's dangerous, though. Oh. Oh. Sounds like concrete, too, oh. didn't it? Carl Moore and up ahead at the green, Aberg. <laughs> well, there we go. It looked tricky from one angle. Whatever it was, we made it look very, very simple. Yeah, well, you were the king of the bunkers, Tony, so as good as anyone to judge, looks pretty good to me. At five under par for his date, 15 under for the week thus far. Can he make it 16 look big? Aberg. One last stroke here. And right in the heart, just as we expected. Takes the applause in his stride. 16 and a half of the three rounds, he is the leader.
Moving. Fantastic round of golf round in 66. Let's walk us through that performance today, please. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. I felt like I was striking the ball uh, pretty good today, even though I had a few uh, left misses with my driver, but ended up, you know, with some some key saves here and there, and, and then uh, with a few nice shots uh, converting to a birdie too. Just talk us through 13. I'm in front, <laughs> the group in front. It sounded yeah. amazing. How did it all happen and how did it feel for you? Well, I, first of all, I snap hooked the drive way left and uh, I didn't even know there was a water hazard down there, uh, but took the drop and uh, and uh, chipped out and then ended up making, I don't even know how long that putt was, but it felt pretty good when it went in, uh, but it's just one of them bonuses, I guess. Yeah, they happen. As I mentioned, 66, a great round of golf. You lead by two. First chance to win a Rolex Series event. You must be thrilled with and looking forward to Sunday. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think even if I wasn't leading, I'd be looking forward to playing a Sunday round at Wentworth. Uh, such an iconic place and, uh, you know, I'm just fortunate to, to have played good golf over the last three days and hopefully I'll be able to keep it up too. Great stuff. Have a great day tomorrow. We, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.